You know, last night was a really good game against the Lions, man. It was a really, really good game. Like, I still remember watching um, literally like the first, second half and my family going off like crazy at my grandma's house and watching the game. And the game was going off like crazy, man. And it just, it, it was just amazing seeing how well the Lions were doing against the 49ers. And like, we just, we have never, like, we had never seen this before in history, dude. It was unbelievable. Yeah, they, I think, was when they started fumbling was when, yeah, it was like 24 to 10, 24 to 7. And then, yeah, right after halftime and everything, uh, they got down. Uh, they, um, they just started fumbling. Like, I was literally with the play they did uh, when they had one guy run off the play uh, and uh, he ran right into the middle. Uh, and he must have, he turned or twisted, I think, and then bounced off one of the players and then the ball fumbled. And then right after that happened, man, they just started fumbling and started choking. And I remember my, my, my mom and dad went home and then my brother and my grandma were watching and we were just like, what the heck is happening? Like, what are they doing, man? Like, they're starting to fumble. Like, like we were starting to maybe think they were being overconfident, but we were just, we just couldn't believe it was happening. I mean, the whole, I mean, the whole world was watching. Like, I mean, Ford Field and like everyone, we just could know, I mean, probably everyone just couldn't believe what was happening to the Lions. They were doing so well in the first and second half and were like destroying the 49ers. And then all of a sudden, they're just choking. And the 49ers are having such good plays and the Lions are just fumbling these easy plays. Like, I remember, there's probably one play that you all remember when he, Threw the ball when um the uh, goth threw the ball, and this player easily could have caught it easily, but it, he grabbed it, but it bounced right with him. It, it basically it was the easiest catch ever, and he and he and he fumbled it, and he and he just didn't get it. And then ju and then just throughout the rest of them, man, I just couldn't believe it, dude. It was it was truly hard to watch. It really was like we just couldn't believe what was happening. We were so shocked. When the game started, and now it just turned around, and then and then just right as it got towards the end, uh, we knew that it, then we knew that they just lost their chance for this one shot for the first time at the Super Bowl, uh, and they failed. Uh, and uh, I still can't believe it happened. Like I was having so much, like literally, even though they were going against such a good team, uh, like the 49ers, I, like, like I I was still rooting for Lions. I was I still was, and. Uh, because I knew how good of a team they were going against. The 49ers are a really, really good team. I knew they were, right? But I was still rooting for the Lions because I had faith in them. I mean, everyone did. Like, if they've gone this far, why would they lose? And we just couldn't believe what had happened when we witnessed it. I just can't believe it, dude. I literally can't. And, uh, and who knows when they'll go back to the Super Bowl. Who, who knows when they'll get this far again? Uh, who knows? I mean, it could be another decade. Uh, or next year next year it just like they just have to play this wall again and get to the playoffs and then it'll be and then it'll be that time they can get to the Super Bowl this was their one shot man and they and they fumbled it like they would I just I just I just can't believe how bad they like I just can't believe it man so I just wanted to give my thoughts on how I really feel after this whole game and to be honest man like like I mean honestly I'm just heartbroken I really am but the positive stuff to look at it from this win is that you know what uh, the Lions have never gone this far since I don't I don't I don't know what year it is exactly, but it's either 1991 or 92. It's one of those two years, but it's basically has been over. It basically has been over 30 years since the Lions have gone this far. Like just just think about that for a second. Like even though they didn't get to the Super Bowl, man, like this was this is this is amazing. For the lines of how far how how the how far they came it's it's incredible it really is so if you want anything to look at for the positive side for this game just think of how far the lines came they got all the way up to the playoffs almost got to the Super Bowl fumbled it but you know they got this far man and uh, we might not see this for a long time maybe I mean we might see it next year if they could if they play this well again we could get them back in the Super Bowl for 2025. I mean, yeah, for, what is it? Super Bowl 2024. Tw I think it's Super Bowl 2025, I think, is the next one. I believe it is. I mean, yeah, I could check real quick to see if it is. It's, yeah, it's going to be Super Bowl 2025 is the next one it's going to be. So if they can do well again like this one, the next Super Bowl will be 2025. 
And that's only if they can get to it. So just wanted to share my thoughts on the whole game and everything. And again, I'm probably have the same reaction that everyone else does. Like I almost, I almost want to tear up. I mean, I almost, I was getting close to it, dude. Like I just couldn't believe it, man. I couldn't believe what happened. I really couldn't. So it was hard to watch. And now, and then NFL just released a video on the highlights and everything and just watching it back. It's hard, man. It's hard, but you know, they've gotten this far, so and they could probably get there again. They just gotta work hard at it and hopefully they can get and hopefully they can get to the the playoffs again very, very soon. So those are my thoughts and